So my money, thank you, thank you very much, and I suppose congratulations are in order. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you so much for, for having us here. I really, I really, uh, it's a great day, but I certainly am celebrating. Well, uh, elections can be quite bruising, you know. Um, uh, that's the case with every party, virtually. Um, the question, I guess, is uh, how you think you're going to manage the, uh, you know, whatever may be the fallout sure. um, uh, out of uh, what has been a hell of a process. Look, I've always maintained the fact that we must build a party that is united around our values, that shares those values that takes it forward. We must never congregate behind an individual because once you do that, then I must say my camp elected me today and another camp didn't. I'm not going out to, to settle any scores. I've got to build a united party. I have the responsibility now of being able to lead with some people who even opposed me. But I've always built a team like that and we'll be going around all the provinces making sure everybody comes on board so we can take this party forward. Have you spoken to Dr. James? Uh, the first time it was really on stage. I haven't had an opportunity to sit down with him and unpack him. But, but I think for him and his team, I, I wish them all the best. I thought they campaigned hard. It was tough at times. But uh, it's good to come out on the other side of it victorious. It's good to come with an overwhelming majority of people who say to us, we want to take this party forward. Now, you are, of course, uh, you know, taking over from someone who was very strong, um, who did uh, shape the party uh, in her own image in so many um, respects. Are you not worried that uh, perhaps you're going to sort of live in her shadow, in Helen Ziller's um, shadow? Helen Zilla led in a particular way. She led in a way that's totally different to mine. Uh, she certainly has, has left with me certain key values, you know. She works hard and now I, I want to commit to working hard and certainly in any election and going out to raise money, all of that, we've got to focus on doing well. But I certainly will lead differently to her and will bring my own uh, style and presence to the party that perhaps is different to what she had. And so I, I respect, I think she's contributed immensely to this party. Now my job is to come back and say, how do I take this party in a direction we'd like to put forward? And how do we make sure this party um, yeah, you know, thrives and some of the objectives that we've put forward? Well, your rise has been fast, um, quite spectacular within the within, um, DA ranks. A lot of people thinking, Perhaps you are um, way too young for the sort of challenges um, a growing party like the DA um, has, to, has to face to you. How I do think you think of that? I think it's the best time to lead. I'm not ageist. I think we're into an era now where leadership is about captaining very good teams, being able to pull together different leaders, different skills, different experiences and then bringing them together to take this, uh, this, this party forward. If you look at Tony Leon when he took over this party, he was only a few years older than me. So there comes a moment in life where you say, are you willing to contest for South Africa? And that's why I, I, I put my hand up, because I felt it was important enough for me to fight. For people like my cousin, who don't have work, who, don't, who are unemployed, for a non-racial South Africa. And so there comes a point where you put up your hand and you say, I'll step into that role. We, we have a lot to learn. Nobody said we're perfect, but certainly believe that we've got the best team around to be able to take this party forward.